Hello students, let's do exponents exercise 5b. This is on page number 79 and we are with question 1, fill in the blanks. First one, in 5 raised to the power of 2 equals 25, base is equal to dash and index is equal to dash. So which is the base and which is the index in 5 raised to the power of 2 equals 25? So the base is 5 and the index or the exponent is the number that is raised to a power, that is 2. So here what's our answer? The base is 5 and the index or the exponent is 2, that is the power. Next one, if index is 3x, that means the power, if the power is 3x and the base is 2y, then what is your number? So remember base is 2y. And this is raised to the power of 3x. Index is 3x. So this is the exponential form. This is the number. Uh, you write the number this way. 2y raised to the power of 3x. Question 2. Evaluate. 2 raised to the power of 8 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3. Since this is division, we are going to follow the quotient law. It says that when you divide a number which is in the exponent form by another number which is also in the expanded exponent form, you will subtract the powers. The smaller power has to be subtracted from the greater power. So the first step is we're going to write this in the fraction form. So let's write that in the fraction form. That is 2 raised to the power of 8 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 in the fraction form. So this will be, since the base is the same, we write the same base, 2 raised to the power of 8 minus 3. Remember, you subtract the smaller power from the bigger power. So this is 2, 8 minus 3 raised to the power of 8 minus 3. So minus that, 8 minus 3 is 5. So this is 2 raised to the power of 5, which is you multiply 2 5 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So let's multiply this and see. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 2s are 32. So the answer to this question is 32. Question 2. Here we have 2 raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 8. So let's write it as a fraction first step. 2 raised to the power of 3 by 2 raised to the power of 8. So here, can you see that the bigger power is in the denominator? That means we need to subtract the smaller power from the bigger power. We need to bring this down here. So 3 will come here. And in the numerator, since we are moving this whole thing down here, this is going to be 1. So this will simply be 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, we are going to write 2 to the power of 8 minus 3. So because we are subtracting the smaller number from the bigger number, and the bigger number is in the denominator. So this will be 1 by 2 to the power of 8 minus 3 is 5. And this is equal to 1 by 2 multiply 5 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So this we are multiplying it 5 times. And now we are going to find our answer by multiplying it. So here let's do this. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 2s are 32. So here our numerator is 1 and the denominator is 32. So what is our answer here? Our answer to this question is 1 by 32. Question 3. Now here can you see something different? 2 raised to the power of 6, the whole thing is raised to another power. So in this case, children, we follow another law called the power law, where if you already have a number which is raised to a power and that is again raised to another power, then what do we do? The base will remain the same. We multiply the powers. So 2 is raised to the power of 6 and the whole thing is raised to the power of 0. So how do we write this? We write this as multiplication of the power. So 2 raised to the power of 6 into 0. So this is equal to 2 raised to the power of, now how much is 6 into 0? Anything into 0 will be 0, isn't it? 2 raised to the power of 0 is what we are getting here. 
Now, something important to remember, when anything is raised to the power of zero, any number for that matter is raised to the power of zero, your answer is always one. Remember that? So once again, when any number is raised to the power of zero, your answer is one. So here two raised to the power of zero, the answer will be one. Next one, three raised to the power of zero, the whole thing raised to the power of six. So once again, we're going to write this as three raised to the power of zero into six. Okay, because if there's one power, and again, that is also raised to another power, you multiply the two powers. So zero into six will be zero. So three raised to the power of zero, and we know that any number raised to the power of zero will be equal to one. So let's write one as the answer here. So I hope you've understood this children. Three raised to the power of zero is one. Next one. Here the question is, 8 raised to the power of 3 into 8 raised to the minus 5 into 8 to the power of 4. So here, as you can see, it's multiplication. So when it is multiplication, we follow the product law where we add up the powers. So in multiplication, you add the powers and in division, you subtract the powers. Just remember that. So here we're going to add the powers. So how are we going to do it? We're going to say 8 to the power of, the first one is 3 plus we have minus 5 plus 4. So this is equal to 8 to the power of 3. If I open the brackets, before the bracket I have a plus sign. So minus 5 remains the same plus 4. Now we have to solve this 3 minus 5 plus 4. We need to work that out. Remember to add the numbers with the same sign. So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. So here we get 8 raised to the power of 2. So what is 8 raised to the power of 2? 8 into 8, which is 64. So the answer to this question is 64. Next one, 5 to the power of 4 into 5 to the power of 3 divided by 5 to the power of 5. So we have multiplication and division here. First, let's put it in the form of a fraction. So when we put it in the form of a fraction, what do we get? 5 to the power of 4 into 5 to the power of 3 will be in the numerator and in the denominator we have 5 to the power of 5. So here since we have multiplication we will follow the product law where we add up the powers. So let's get our next step where we add up the powers. So remember when it is multiplication you add the powers. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So here we have 5 to the power of 7 divided by 5 to the power of 5. So multiplication, we have added the powers. Now we have division, we're going to subtract the powers. When you subtract, remember, you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So we're going to take 5 up because it's going to become 7 minus 5. So let's write that 5 to the power. The base will remain the same. 5 to the power of 7 minus 5. So let's do that subtraction. 5 to the power of 2, which is 5 into 5. 5 fives are 25. So here the answer to this question is 25. Question 7. So here as you can see we have 5 to the raised to the power of 4 divided by 5 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 5. So we have division and multiplication. According to Borkmas we must do division first, isn't it? So this part has to be done first. So let's write that as a fraction. 5 to the power of 4 divided by 5 to the power of 3 into 5 to the power of 5. So remember, when it is division, you subtract the powers. Subtract 5, 4 minus 3. You subtract the two powers, 4 and 3. Then you multiply this by 5 to the power of 5. So this will be 5 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 is 1, isn't it? Into 5 to the power of 5. Now, this has become multiplication. In multiplication, we add the powers. So, 5 raised to the power of 1 plus 5, which is 5 to the power of 6. Now, 5 to the power of 6 means you multiply 5 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, let's get our answer. 
So five fives are 25, 25 ones are, fives are 125, 125 into five is 625. So let's stop here, 625 and multiply this, five fives are 25. So multiply these two, 625 into 25. So you can group it like that, according to your convenience, group the fives and multiply. So now let's multiply 625 into 25. Five fives are 25, carry 2. Five twos are 10, 11, 12, carry 1. Five six are 30 plus 1, 31. Next step, two fives are 10, carry 1. Two twos are 4 plus 1, 5. And two six are 12. Now add this up. Five, two, six, five, one. So we've got 15,625. So the answer here is 15,625. And let's look at the eighth sum. Here we have 4 raised to the power of 4 divided by 4 raised to the power of 3 into 4 raised to the power of 0. So again, we should do division first. So let's do that. So let's take up division. So this is going to be 4 raised to the power of 4 by 4 raised to the power of 3 into 4 raised to the power of 0. So now we know when it is division, we have to subtract the powers. So 4 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 into 4 to the power of 0. So 4 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 is 4 raised to the power of 1 into 4 raised to the power of 0. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 4 into 1. 4 raised to the power of 1 is 4. 4 into 1 is 4. So the answer here is 4. Question 9. 3 raised to the power of 5 into 4 raised to the power of 7 into 5 raised to the power of 8. The whole thing raised to the power of 0. Now here the base is all different. So though it is multiplication, we cannot add up the powers because the base is different. And here, already all these numbers are raised to a power and that is raised to another power. That means it is multiplication. So each one we have to multiply with 0. So that means we are starting with 3 raised to the power of 5 into 0. That's the first one into 4 raised to the power of 7 into 0 into 5 raised to the power of 8 into 0. Now let's work this out. 3 raised to the power of 5 into 0 is 0, into 4 raised to the power of 7 into 0 is 0, into 5 raised to the power of 8 into 0 is 0. Now remember, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 3 raised to the power of 0 is 1, into 4 raised to the power of 0 is 1, into 5 raised to the power of 0 is 1. And 1 into 1 into 1 will still be 1. So the answer here is 1. So answer to question 9 is 1. We will stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.